Well, the snow is moving out, but the cold and the wind has moved in. Uh, right now, you can see that uh, the snow is quickly eroding across the area, and what you're seeing up there is mostly flurries. There might be a little light snow, but we're not talking accumulating snow. So the snow is actually the least of our worries in terms of the rest of this day going forward. We do have a chance this afternoon. We'll break that down in a second. Uh, temperatures are just falling and falling sharply, and the cold air is actually coming in from the southwest. So look at Adrian. You've now dropped into the teens. It's 18 there, and it's in the upper 20s. Lapeer across the I-69 corridor there to uh, Port Huron with mid-20s in between. All right, let's now check out those wind gusts, and I'm still watching that Lansing uh, reading there. They've had a 51-mile-per-hour wind gust. I did not expect, and I do not expect, wind gusts that strong here in the metro area, but wind gusts 2 or even a little above 40 miles per hour is certainly possible. All right, as far as the wind chill, if you are heading outside right now, it feels like single digits as you basically are anywhere, almost anywhere south of 8 Mile. You can see on the east side, you're still hanging on to some double digits there. But those single digit wind chills will spread northeastward across the area. And by this afternoon, we're all going to be near zero for a wind chill. So by 8 o'clock this morning, again, the flakes are out of the area and we should be dry through the morning hours. Then this afternoon, some lake effect snow bands are going to develop off the big wide part of Lake Michigan. That's the southern half of the lake there. And some of those may extend eastward into our area. So the northern half of the area potentially could see some afternoon snow showers. But those are going to kind of be on the wane as we head through the evening hours. And I think we're mainly dry for the overnight hours tonight. Tomorrow, I think we're mainly dry for the entire day. But then Saturday night, another little system comes through, and that's going to spread snow during the overnight hours Saturday night. So that's not going to affect the daytime on Saturday, but uh, this could be another inch or two of snow coming our way. And then that kind of scoots out of here Sunday morning, and then we have another one to watch Monday night into Tuesday. Uh, now, we have a winter weather advisory until 10 a.m. here for the southeastern part of the state. But look at those pinks there right along the Great Lakes there. Those are winter storm warnings. And... Many areas are still, on top of what's already fallen, going to see three to five or six more inches of snow. And up in the Keweenaw Peninsula, which is actually uh, behind the banner in the map there, but the Keweenaw Peninsula could pick up up to another foot of snow. I have a friend whose son is at Northern Michigan University. They're just going nuts up there with, uh, with all that snow, but they know how to handle it. All right, for the day today, Temps will fall into the teens and will be in the teens this afternoon with wind chills near zero and the potential for 40 mile per hour gusts be with us throughout the day. All right, on the seven day forecast, you can see that we have no real relief. Uh, we may bump up a degree or two into the low 20s on Monday, Tuesday, but those overnight lows are going to be mostly right around 10 or in the single digits. Daytime highs uh, most of the week ahead are not going to make it to 20 degrees, so quite a stretch. And then, again, Monday night into Tuesday, we could be looking at another couple of inches of snow coming our way.